Hi, I'm Anil from MarketingAutomationFocus.com. I'm going to review today an app called Strel. Strel is a content optimization tool, and recently they have come out with their uh, low competition keyword research tool, which is an awesome tool. And so I'll be uh, reviewing that really quick. I'm not going to be doing uh, much of how to uh, in this video as it's going to be a long one otherwise. So it's going to be just an overview of their features and and their uh, key features and, and their capabilities really quick. Um, so I'm going to start with their homepage. Their domain is strel.io. And then I'm gonna show you really quick their pricing uh, of their plans. And, and then I'll take you to um, uh, the back end, my own uh, Strel account that I've gotten a few months ago actually. So I haven't uh, used uh, much lately, but I've used um, uh, the latest uh, keyword research tool uh, which is low competition keyword research tool that I've used that they recently came out with. Uh, so I'm pretty excited about that. So let's look at their homepage here. As I was saying that the Strel is a content optimization tool for organic growth. And um, they don't say anything about their uh, low competition keyword research tool here because they just came out with uh, that tool. So they've been on Product Hunt. They've been uh, uh, number four product of the day on Product Hunt at one point. And one of the tools they have is Audit Tool that audits the uh, existing content from a seed keyword and uh, the existing uh, content URL. So you, if you have a page or a post that you want to analyze and audit from SEO perspective, then you can do that. That's the tool for that one. And the next tool is Content Editor, where if you're doing um, editing of an existing content or just writing from scratch, the Content Editor allows you to write the content and while you see real time the uh, SEO score and other SEO related uh, analysis or parameters that you can use to keep on optimizing the content that you're working on. Uh, so you can always uh, either uh, write from scratch in the content editor, you can do copy and paste from somewhere else that you have written uh, from another tool um, uh, and or you can actually take your published uh, page or post that uh, if you don't wanna use the audit just to audit that content, you can actually copy and paste the published content into content editor tool and, and then uh, optimize it uh, right there using that content editor tool. Uh, so that's for that. And it, like I said, it doesn't mention anything about the uh, low content, uh, low, sorry, low uh, competition keyword research tool on their homepage as yet. Uh, and it's in beta actually. Uh, so it talk, talks about uh, optimize existing content for better rankings, uh, content intelligence to write better faster. Um, and you can analyze your competitors uh, very easily. And so... Uh, then they use um, on-page SEO factors like about uh, close to about 200, I think, by now, and 40 plus languages that they support for their audit and uh, content editor. For their keyword research uh, tool that they just announced, they started off with um, English first, and then just a couple of days ago, uh, they added five more languages, and they're going to add more. So it's the NLP based algorithm um, and it's pretty much Strel is for uh, almost anyone uh, in, in this area where uh, anyone who cares about SEO, for example, SEO professionals, obviously, marketers, agency, affiliate marketers, copywriters and freelancers, anything that you're writing, um, uh, you can use the SEO tools and in this case Strel. And if you want to have a jump start, then they have very nice uh, two videos on their uh, YouTube channel. So check them out. Um, you can watch them right from their homepage or you can go to the YouTube channel. I found these when I started off a few months ago 
I found these pretty interesting and pretty uh, informative uh, as well. And uh, left bottom here, you can see that, uh, as I was mentioning, a YouTube channel, a link to their Twitter uh, account and then LinkedIn as well. So you can check them out there. Their bottom uh, bottom right, you can see that they have done some comparison of Strel versus Surfer SEO, Strel versus ClearScope, Strel versus Market Muse. A few months ago, I've checked them out. They're pretty interesting articles there if you want to check out, uh, check them out. So now uh, let's go to uh, their pricing page really quick. So now I'm on uh, their pricing page. Uh, now uh, let's look at their plans. So they have four different plans. One is uh, starting with starter plan, basic, pro, and growth. Uh, the main difference is that the starter plan does not have team member feature uh, or the keyword uh, report, uh, which is the low competition keyword research uh, report or the SERP analysis. Those uh, two features go hand in hand. So those two features and the team feature is not included in startup plan. Um, and it starts with basic and pro and growth. All three of them have those, uh, all the features and with different limits. So I think the pricing looks reasonable. I would say maybe medium high, high side a little bit, but then you're getting so much out of it. So if you have a use for it, and you can consistently use it close to the limit, even if it's not reaching the limit um, every month, then uh, I would say that um, it's, it's pretty valuable uh, or you do get value um, out of these any of these three plans. So uh, depending on your needs, you can select your plan. And uh, another really good thing is that if you're not sure if you want to try it, then they have uh, a free trial, which includes uh, a fixed number of audit or content editor credits, which is in this case is seven. It does have NLP support and it does have the uh, low competition keyword research tool, uh, which is again, you can do seven reports. So it's not monthly, it's just one time. Uh, if you want to try things out. So it really gives you the taste of, of and the capabilities of the app. So so that's a good part. That's how I started in the beginning when I didn't know anything about Strel. And on this page, you can check out the facts. So now let me take you uh, inside of my uh, Strel account. So here I am inside of my Strel account. When you log in, uh, you see this dashboard. Now this dashboard uh, needs some revamp uh, because uh, it only has audit and content editor, these two buttons here. Uh, when you hover over, uh, they kind of get uh, kind of uh, highlighted here or colored a little bit. Um, and it gives you the total number of credits that you have and how many you have used for both audit and content editor tool. Um, each time you use audit or content editor, it uses one each. Uh, so one every time you run audit, one uh, credit you use uh, it uses for content editor. So uh, and then it only shows you the recent audits um, view in the dashboard. So I would say that we um, it would be good uh, to have. Uh, uh, an overview of your content editor, recent content, content editor, um, what you have worked on, plus the new tool, which is still in beta, uh, the low competition keyword research uh, view of how many reports and SERP analysis credits we have used or, or and, and how many uh, are, are left or total uh, number available. Uh, for for your account, so that kind of view would be nice on the dashboard. So uh, now I'm going to take you one by one, really quick, into audit and content uh, editor tools, and then I'll go into the uh, low competition keyword uh, research tools. So on on the type top right, real quick, um, this icon here takes you to dashboard from anywhere you are inside of app. This one is for settings. Um, and this one is for upgrade. When you hover over uh, your name of your account, then you get the option of upgrade. If you have a, if they're running any promo or apply, you can apply promo code. Then is the team option there. Uh, if your plan supports 
team and then settings and log out so those are the so those are the few things uh, now uh, this quick learn is is the link to their YouTube channel for now uh, so that's that and research is this beta low competition keyword research so let's just go into audit you can go through this menu you can click audit here or you can select any of your recent audit uh, that you have done uh, so in this case I'll just click on the ones that I have done this particular one recently and go there you can see that uh, this audit I've done on a published uh, article and I haven't really optimized it since I published it is showing me a little low score a uh, bunch of things things are really looking fine like quick fix it shows you at a high level the key things to hit right off the bat so I'm good uh, on those uh, but there are certain like you know number of words in the body and um, number of words in paragraph you know maybe I have too many so maybe I need to br break break up my uh, uh, paragraphs into uh, you know more number of paragraphs so that the number of words per paragraph is is low so it gives you like hey what's the action required here so you want to reduce the overall uh, words in the body um, and and or reduce the number of words in a paragraph now in my case this one was mostly because uh, I'm doing um, actually uh, a transcript of a YouTube video so the number of words are uh, the as many as they are uh, I don't know if I really want to reduce them but but at least it's a good uh, guidance here for this audit and it gives you a lot more information so in this video I'm not going to explain uh, uh, you know in detail what's going on here as you can see a whole bunch of stuff I'm, I'm doing not so bad and number of characters people also ask if I want to hit those top competitor title it gives me so this audit report is pretty comprehensive so uh, so now let's go to content editor um, so you and then once you go into content editor uh, section then uh, this one allows you to start a new uh, content editor editor uh, or editing for a specific seed keyword um, and or if you have worked on like I have worked on five of these and and you can uh, uh, go look at that now this this one has only 10% because I was just probably playing around and stuff um, and and before I actually published so that's why my audit was was much higher score um, and and so now in this case I was just playing around let's just go into uh, one of the content uh, editor uh, uh, job or, or brief you can call it um, and it, this this gives you the uh, overall score content score and it gives you allows you to edit your content obviously and it shows that you can handle uh, h tags from h1 to h6 so that's pretty good and you can do all kinds of formatting you can do insert links you can do images you can do quotes um, and and bullet list and numbered list if you do all of that stuff that that gets taken into account for your score and you can check the the words here so it's different view here uh, from number of h2 to h6 elements uh, it gives you a count um, how many you have uh, and you know whether you're doing okay with the check mark or not keywords is like title tag keywords how you're doing on that so it gives you that you can expand uh, each section here and they focus on the top three items there h1 h2 and then the other one was the title tag keywords and then main content keywords so then then you can just look at the top three title h1 uh, NLP based and I'm not again I'm not going into details of each one of these that you know if you're if, if it's red or green what did that mean so Yes, it, it guides you pretty well. It gives you a visual um, 
view of how your content is and then you can zero in on each of those areas you know as as you wish so right now this article is actually i copied from uh, uh, uh another tool uh, that i'm using to generate this article and i wasn't too happy about this so it's it's kind of all over the place so so i wouldn't worry about you know because that's not what this tool does it just simply analyzes the content it doesn't write the content for you so that's why i was just playing around with this um just as a to test stuff um so so that's what that is so now let's go into really exciting part of uh strel uh, which they announced recently like i said before which is low competition keyword research so you hover over to research uh, menu and then click on this beta low competition keyword research tool. So over here you have a, a, a field where you enter your seed keyword and then you define you select your country. Okay, so in my case it will be United States. You can select language like I was mentioning before that they kicked off this uh, tool, a new tool uh, as part of the uh, Strel app. Is, is with English and then just a couple of days ago they uh, announced and added uh, these five other languages Dutch, French, German, Italian, Spanish so that's pretty good and they're going to be adding more languages now th they have advanced option which is selected by default right so if you know that you don't want it, it to look for country search volumes or extract related queries or extract PAA queries these are selected by default, which kind of makes sense because most of the time you do want to know, okay, uh, extract all that information. So that, that I think is pretty neat. But if you don't want to, you know for sure that you don't want to look at those. So why bother looking at that and get overwhelmed? So you, you just, uh, you can unselect those or turn them all with this uh, switch here for advanced option. Okay. And on the right side, it shows keyword report, how many total you have for your account, how many remaining, and then SERP credits, you know, how many you have and how many are remain, uh, remaining in total you have. Um, and you can see that I've run about three weeks ago or so. So I think that's the time when they had announced or something or close to it. I played around with this and what it does is every time you run the keyword finder tool or um, low competition keyword research uh, report they call it keyword list so they generate a report which is they call it keyword list and in that list from your seed keyword it has a whole bunch of keywords based on all of this criteria the country the seed keyword the language and advanced options so I'm just gonna click on this market automation for a wildcard wildcard or asterisk gives you the Google search, you know, auto um, search uh, uh, that that enumerates when you actually start typing beyond that main word that is uh, marketing automation for blah 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 whatever it could, would come up. So it, in in my case, in this case, for this keyword with asterisk, it returned four hundred. 80 keywords so number of keywords it found was 480 now it gives you all and then you can select different types or categories of those keywords that it found one was the suggestion based question based uh, people also asked hidden is the one that uh, if you from your select from your list if you select one or more and if you click on this on the right side, um, top right here, uh, hide button, then it's gonna show up here. So you can click on those and you can see which ones you you hid and you can now select uh, and you say unhide. So now it will be unhid. Um, so now uh, on, on this list, there is, uh, what, when, when you find this list, you can actually select the list so i've already run the serp analysis okay so uh, you can you can pick and choose you can filter and uh, on the top left here there are a lot of options for for filtering so you can decide which topics you can you you want to focus on if it's marketing then it's now uh, it's marketing has 480 
uh, keywords have marketing in it, automation, okay, w WordPress. Uh, so now it's short list, um, okay. Sorry, I, I, I mentioned that the 480 have marketing, but that's, that's not how it works. It's still showing 480 total, okay? And then it just simply filters the list based on what, what I select, okay? So I'm just gonna unselect here for now and just show you all these, all these topics that if you wanna focus, you can actually um, fold this, this section uh, if it's overwhelming, so that's a good option. And for intent, um, you know, you can switch it on and off. Right now, they're all uh, turned off. High intent, pre-purchase, post-purchase, comparison, and then status if it's analyzed or not analyzed. So let's say that I, I say, okay, I want to just get the analyzed ones. So maybe now it's, it's, if, if you have certain a keyword that you didn't analyze, then it's only going to show you the analyzed ones. So that's a good one to just kind of focus on whatever you want, whatever you want to focus on. Um, and then if you want to do a filtering based on the volume, minimum, number, maximum, number, or range, you can define those values. You can clear all. You can apply after you put the, put the numbers in. So you do have to uh, hit apply button. So just to make sure that that's exactly what you want so that you're not clicking and not realizing that the filter has actually uh, worked. So in other cases, you're actually switching the switch and, and for topics, you're actually selecting certain topics and it highlights those. So that way, you know, you don't need, need any apply button uh, or confirmation, so to speak. And the same thing for CPC, and then, then you could do the weak spot. Now, this is really neat stuff. So why are we doing this low competition keyword research? So without going into too much detail, um, you're trying to find keywords that the top 10, uh, top 10 uh, domains are ranking uh, for that seed keyword, including the keyword that Strel found. So for a specific keyword in the keyword list, what are those top 10 domains for those each one of those 480 uh, uh, keywords that it found based on my seed keyword that it, you now it's identifying what are those weak spots are out of those top 10 uh, ranked uh, domains, okay, for each keyword in that keyword list. So, and based on on my filter. So now if I want to click on this, now um, I, what I'm trying to find now, at least one in top 10. So as long as if there at least one weak spot, then as you can see in this list now, so the one, two, three, four, five, the five keywords um, out of 480 have uh, at least one uh, or just one a weak spot and the last one has actually two of them. So now if you hover over, it shows you the domain that is rank, ranking six, number six in this case for best email for automation keyword. Uh, and if you hover over next one, next one, it seems like that for these top, not top, but the, um, the uh, first uh, four uh, keyword one two three four five keywords uh, brevo.com is is the one that's um, ranking now let's just click on on here view the SERP now you can see the number six here is brevo.com for this specific article that they're ranking for that keyword so now um, that's that's like low-hanging fruit or low competition keyword, which is best email for automation, that if you write an article and and include uh, this keyword, and if it's a valuable content, if you write it better than, than let's see, uh, brevo.com in that article, then you will uh, have a much, much better chance to 
rank uh, in top 10, uh, hopefully uh, you have more probability. So um, th this is really a neat uh, feature here um, or tool as part of Strel that they recently announced. So uh, it's pretty exciting and it does have options of if you wanted to export all 480 keywords um, as an Excel or CSV file that you can do that. Uh, and then you can share this report with someone. And then there's an analyze keyword um, uh, button here or, or option here. And then you can analyze whichever ones you can choose to analyze uh, further. And then export the ones that if you right now is grayed out because and hide also grayed out uh, because uh, I haven't selected any. So if I select one or more, then I can export those selected keywords and I can hide as I mentioned before. So uh, as you can see, this is this is pretty good and it just allows you uh, to not only find uh, the low competition keywords that you may have a better chance, you can define the domain authority. So it seems like uh, I was just playing with it uh, uh, a little bit uh, so I paused the video and um, what I'm finding is maybe there is a little uh, something going on that when I selected competition, it didn't show me any uh, any domains even after I cleared the weak spot. So it doesn't seem to be uh, doing anything except uh, it wasn't even listing any competition domains which it should because it's showing 122. So as you can see, uh, it, it tells you with that label, low domain authority. What I was saying earlier was that uh, bravo.com is probably not a low domain authority. That's why it wasn't showing anything on when I clicked on comp uh, competitor um, uh, menu item there. Um, so in, in this view now, it's, so I uh, played around with it and it seems like it was a little glitchy there that, that it wasn't showing me uh, the list of the competitors, 122 of them. So as you can see then, then it does identify the uh, brevo.com as low domain authority. So now, um, as you saw that if I have those six uh, keywords that uh, five of them uh, at least five of them were uh, on brevo.com domain of some article that they were on top 10 and now it's low domain authority. So if I'm starting out with some domain authority and now if I write an article that is better than what they have written uh, for those keywords, then I have a very good chance of ranking uh, in top 10 and possibly even beat them uh, as as my competition if you will so so that's pretty much it for now and uh, please comment uh, below if you want me to go into uh, any of these three tools a bit deeper uh, how to use them uh, then i can do another video bye for now